Hello everyone and welcome to the Bandit's Den. A lot of you thought the last video was good, but it's not. Um, today we went to the Botanic Gardens in Albuquerque. I was un unaware of some of the changes that they made to all of the exhibits. Uh, there was a Japanese tea garden that was new. It was under construction last time I was there. Then there was uh, some other exhibits back there, but among them was an animal agriculture exhibit which is unfortunate because uh, when I go to the botanic gardens I expect to see plants not a bunch of exploited animals and so <clears throat> they even had a sign I'll put it up here they had a sign that said oh don't worry about the animals they have plenty of water and we have vets regularly take care of them Upon looking into it, we found that there was actually no specialist assigned for this. There's a species survival officer for invertebrates, aquatics, and plants. No vertebrates there. No land-dwelling vertebrates. My girlfriend thought it was telling they felt the need to post a sign like that, and this is probably part of why. But um, the conditions were concerning to us, as you'll see, and... Uh, and uh, it was obvious at least one of the animals there was not getting regular attention. There was also a sheep there that um, was just kind of defecating where they were laying. I saw them get up and uh, there was a pile of shit right there where they, where they had been laying. Um, but as you'll see, the animals aren't given very good conditions. And I'd like everybody to ask themselves if this is the best way we can portray animal agriculture. Just think of the statistic that something like 95% of your meat comes from factory farms, which are hidden from the public eye because they are so much worse than what you see here. Anyways, hope you guys have a good one. I'll probably talk over the video as well. So thanks for joining me on this uh, short video documentary of the conditions they're kept in for public viewing over at the Albuquerque Botanic Gardens. Hello. As you can see, the horse didn't get very big living quarters and its corral was also very tiny. Its corral that it was to wander around in was less than a quarter acre. Here were the turkeys, just a little bit of shade at the end of a barren run. Hello guys. You can see they're panting in the heat. And up next is the chicken run. That's just another dirt run, just as shitty as the turkeys one. I don't know how many roosters were there, but you'll see evidence there might be more than one that I saw because you can actually walk next to the chickens. This rooster took an interest in me while I was walking along the run and decided to have a chat. You're a good rooster, yeah. I'm sorry for whatever you guys have been through. Sorry you're in a prison cell with just dirt. Yeah, it's a bummer. There's a... Uh, Baldness on his chest. I don't know why, but his talons, I don't know if you could see, are large and overgrown. His spurs. And oh, he's a. Uh, turn around again. There you go. He's missing his tail. One of the other birds probably pecked it off. And he can't escape. I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry for everything. Here are the talons in question. Obviously, they've never been taken care of. There's one growing out to the side because it's so overgrown. Here's one of the sheep. They had five or six sheep in a smaller corral than the horse got and they were all seeking refuge in the shade, trying to get away from the inescapable desert heat. 
Since sheep are native to colder climates, this one just looked at me lethargically in their prison cell with nothing to do but suffer in the heat. They just laid there staring at me with blank eyes of a broken spirit as I came in to get a close-up shot of them. Down the way, there was a sign on a barn next to all of this that talked about in the 1920s and 30s, this used to be a dairy farm. And I thought it was unfortunate that back then, this land was used to exploit animals. And now, we're using animals here for the ultimate form of exploitation, using them as props, treating them like inanimate objects for no educational purposes just to create a mock horror show of what animal agriculture might look like. Now to close, I would like to remind you all to think about this. If this is the absolute best we can portray animal agriculture, then what are we really paying for to happen behind closed doors? I'm going to go ahead and leave the contact information for Biopark Management, if I can, in the description of this video so that anybody concerned for these animals can write them and voice their concerns. In my opinion, an exhibit like this shouldn't even be done it, except for the case of a vegan sanctuary that makes sure the animals are taken well care of and makes sure that they're not bred for the purposes of entertainment. Thank you all for joining me, and until next time, peace for real.